Hello. On today's show, we're discussing history. Now, when most of us think of history, we think of books, museums, or archaeological digs. But history isn't just for historians or archaeologists. After all, what happens today is tomorrow's history, and we are all involved in recording it. This leads us to our big question: Why do we record history? Take a look at this picture. Do you know what it is? It's a photograph of the astronaut Neil Armstrong when he became the first man to walk on the moon. It was taken on July twenty-first, nineteen sixty-nine, the day Armstrong took one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. The event was filmed, and around 500 million people watched it live around the world. But why did they record it? They recorded it because it was an important event. They wanted future generations to see it. Today, we record more events than we ever have before. Modern technology allows us to film videos or take photos easily. We can share these around the world almost instantly. This has two benefits. First of all, people all over the world can find out about important events quickly. Secondly, in the future, people will be able to look at our record. Of the present, it's amazing to think that these images might be viewed by people hundreds of years from now. Of course, we don't just record important world events. In fact, most of us record our friends and family at normal events like holidays or celebrations. This boy and his father. Are looking at some old family photos. It's a great way for them both to share memories. It's nice to be able to remember things together, and these photos make sure they'll never forget. Of course, not all records of history are visual images. This is my granddad's diary. He wrote it when he was twelve. He let me read it, and it was really interesting to discover what life was like sixty years ago. In fact, it has inspired me to write my own diary, and I hope it will be read by people fifty years from now.